They'll be calling you radical. There's been an earthquake right underneath the Fukushima plant, and everybody's going psycho crazy, and they should be. Now, it's 13 miles under. Let's talk about this. Let's talk. So I was asked yesterday by two different people in two separate interviews about China syndrome, what I felt like was going to happen. Look, let's, China syndrome is very real. This going on, we're talking, what, 920 days over there? The trinium levels in TEPCO's own trenches over the last 90 days have told the tale up 10 times, up 100 times, up another 10 times. As Einstein himself worked on this theory as far as the most powerful concept in others is compounding. It wasn't about finance compounding. It's about exactly this, fission. It's going on. Now, I was asked yesterday how I thought it would play out because nothing's been done. If you think China syndrome nuclear fission isn't real, you are as naive as they get. And if you believe any word to come from Habe and these lying pieces of shit IEA by now, the World Health Organization, the mass nuclear media, if you're believing anything, we are the media, period. Their credibility is completely gone, completely gone. So don't be posting the bullshit there. I mean, my accuracy and our small army's accuracy, we're, we've told the tale in detail. We're the media, period. Now. What I believe will happen, as far as because people have hypothesized, that's the word China Center will burn all the way through the earth. Well, it's going to continue to freak, and those, these are gamma alpha rays that have unforeseen in the history of mankind. This has never happened before. So we have to rely on science. And what we know as far as science, and the trinium levels are proving it over and over in TEPCO's own trenches. So is it going to spew these giant creatures up in the air? Maybe. But I believe this is exactly what happened just now, is what's going to happen. I think more and more of it's going to happen. And I think you're going to start to see eruptions and ruptures through the seawall into the Pacific. And how scary is this? <laughs> Can you believe not? I mean, here's number four sitting there. And people say, oh, they, they went dry. Yeah, they did go dry. And a lot of that, and I, I cannot overemphasize this. I cannot overemphasize this. It is safer to live in Tokyo, Japan, than San Francisco, California, Portland, Maine, New York City, New York, Lansing, Michigan, Dallas, Texas, Los Angeles, California, Vancouver, Canada, Toronto, Montreal, Glasgow, Scotland, London, England, Ireland, over and over and over. The wind was blowing out when the plume went over us, and the plume was heavy, very heavy. Radnet did not work. We know what the numbers were. They were gigantic, and cancer is spiking here. This is a big story. This is directly underneath, 13 miles under. Do I believe that it's the gamma rays have made it 13 miles down? Oh, yeah, absolutely, easily. I mean, I remember TEPCO's trenches in the early days. I think about day 70 or 80, they went down, and they were already pouring thousands of feet down then. Einstein's own words. The most powerful force on earth is compound. That's exactly what's going on. That's the trinium levels. These guys have been in the trinium level. And I love it how all you guys will talk about trinium, santrum, cesium, but nobody dares mention PU. PU, PU, the heavy metal, the heavy metal that's all over all of us. You don't get one without the other. Cancer is spiking. This is very real. You can stay in denial all you want. The black and yellow journalism, the Uncle Tom Media, the Uncle Tom Science where they made me six. The marine biologist, I will leave it with uh, Rachel Carson, the only real marine biologist. This great quote of hers, I will leave it with that. This is a big story. And I think we're going to see more and more of this happen. Is number four going to end up going down? My guess it probably will because there's nothing being done. The international, nobody's going to do anything. So I think they're just like, let's see, let it fall and see what happens. I think the atomic world out there and the apparatus there be, they have no solutions. They're like, well, let's see. Just like when they dropped the bomb on Hiroshima. Oppenheimer's own words. Did we know that it would suck up out the entire atmosphere? We didn't know if it would suck out the entire atmosphere and end all of humanity, all of life on Earth, but we did it anyway. That's what's going on with them right now. It's the same thought process. They're doing this anyway. This isn't Russian roulette. This isn't freaking American roulette. This is Japan roulette. This is Earth roulette. And there are only double zeros on this wheel. Stand tuned, and I'll see if I can find out any more information. I got calls in. Yeah, you'll say, well, it's only 5.3, but it's directly underneath. You know, inlet a little bit, but it's scary shit. Yeah, number four. Yeah, hell yes. It's a big deal. All them spent fuel in there, moxie fuel in there. We're spewing, but what is China Syndrome really doing? China Syndrome is nuclear fission. It is nuclear fission. It's very real. We've never experienced it before. Never, never, 
Never in the history of humanity. So the nuclear industry, the lion scum, evil fucking cartel that they are, they're using us. They're using the earth as a human experiment, just like they did my father and the, and the atomic veteran in the trenches. If you don't think it mutates the gene, think about this. His whole family is alive. He died young, the healthiest of them all. And then his son, me, gets the very same disease. That doesn't prove gene mutation. I don't know what does. Stand